You want this? No, you can have it. How many scenes? You ready, Ian? I'm ready, mate. Let's go. Don't rush. You have 15 days holiday. No need to rush. We're rushing, mate. We've got to get there. First gremlin. Daniel Spike won't turn off. Better than not turning on. Turn Better on. than not turning on, that's right. Yeah, is it on call? It's not too far. Why is it all good? Garmin English uh, tutorial. Here we are at Dunny Do for the 15th please stop in three hours. Here's our camp. There's video on our camp. Oh, what a bike. Yeah, first day. Happy days. Breaking camp. Well, we made it to Tiverborough, but uh, Daniel's chain and sprockets didn't make it. They're here, but that rear sprocket's absolutely stuffed. Uh, steel sprocket. Left with 3,300 and I've got 4,000. 4,000 on it. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's... Um, it's naked. So uh, we were fortunate enough we come to the servo here in TJ's in Tiverborough and uh, like in the servo there his father called his son and his son had uh, a chain and a brand new chain and he also had a sprocket so Daniel paid him the price of gold for the chain and the sprocket now nah, I'll have something else to do and, uh, you got us out of trouble. So here we go. Let's hit a chain and sprocket at Tiverborough. Look at the gear here. Chinese piece of shit RHK chain. Yeah, I think that's seen better days. Wow. For 3,000 k's. That's yeah. 4,000 k's. Sorry. Pretty ordinary. Brand new. 4,000 k's old. Dead snake's got more life in it than that. Well, it is on a CRF, so you've got to give it a few, <laughs> you know, a few brownie points for last than that one. Right. Well, it's not a KDM, it wouldn't last 10,000. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. why it's pulled those sprockets That's, out that's because the KDM suspension's nicer on gear. I won't tell you what I think of the KDM until you turn the GoPro off. <laughs> <laughs> Flat front tyre. Daniel's pulling out the good levers here. Big spoons. They do the same as the um, So we've got the bike up on the stand. This is a stand Daniel bought with him. Because I didn't bring mine. The loose dinner bearings. Guys are terrific. What's going on here? Oh, it was on the brake mode, mate. I don't know I pressed the brake mode when the Oh yeah, of course. Who did that? The flies are very friendly. Dave's got no trouble. Because he's he doesn't stink apparently. Yeah, I'm going alright. <laughs> Oh, 
What did you tell him wanted to do? I put light duties in. Zero? What? Yeah. You did not. I did. You put light tubes in. For spares. Oh. Did you? Yeah. Very good. Well, you do that. Stick, you see? You can feel it on the inside. Okay. Can you see the video? There it is there. What was your feel? Hold still, this one's hurt. Oh, is that the same stuff? Yeah, just looks black and where it's more through. Just try to light it up. Yeah, same stuff. Stopped again, and speedo's not working. Here we are, about 160, 180 k's from Birdsville. We've had to pull up because Dave's bike is not revving out. What's going on, Dave? Talk us through it. Uh, it won't rev out, it's like it's starving. So, yeah, the airfield yeah, uh, was clean for a lift. And you haven't had no dust because you've been in front the whole time. Really? It has, it, I can't see it being. What I did notice is that when I pulled up, this thing had dislodged and was lying in here. But surely that's not going to block the air. Where's your air come in? The air comes in everywhere. I think so, got a sieve. They suck water in pretty good. Yeah. So I'm thinking, uh, do that filter first. we'll do this little filter. Oh, we've got a filter over this side. Have we got, we've got to get hold of this somehow. That, you've got a Leatherman. I've got a disconnect here. And you've got a shifter. We need to grab that and that. A lot of shifter eleven. Yeah. Actually, what size is the hex on there? Oh, I tell you what. My, my yeah, wheel there's, a little, there's a little filter in that. Right, I'll just turn this GoPro on. Just pulled the fuel filter out. Had a look. Nothing wrong with it, but we're going to test drive it up the fence line here. We'll see a wheel stand for about I don't know, 400 meters, I'm guessing.
I just got the Birdsville. <laughs> it was my stupid phone, that Audi Mobile. I've got no service everywhere I go, but Daniel and Dave are on Telstra and they got service. Right, so Dave's just taking his bike for a test ride. Same issue, no power. Sounds like fuel. Sounds like fuel. He's handling it pretty good. If it was me, I'd be cranky. Just kick it over. Yeah, we'll kick that over. Here we are. Should have left it on your helmet and set your helmet point in Yeah, exactly. So where's the how's the how's the pump of fuel at? Let's have a look in there. Need a rag. Uh, I know that one. What's it got an in like an inbuilt? It's down there, it is. Uh, in yeah. I'll see how long this thing go for. Oh, never time I turn mine on. Okay. Come all this way for this little sand hill. Right, let's get going. Where do we go now? has come off, there he is down there, just strapping it back on, Daniel's helping him, this is the desert, winds, oh, crap, I just fell over, I'll pick the bike up and see what I can do, I'll have to turn this off. From Birdsville. Oh, okay. We just come across. Which way do we go? That way. Or yeah. we might go camp up there and leave you good people in peace. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, it's a rowdy party here at night. Oh, <laughs> imagine so. I took one look at them and said, We're not camping here. <laughs> Here we are at our campsite. There's Dave, Daniel, the river. What a bike. Now your bike's handling so good. Thank <laughs> you. 
breath is a lot of pain. He's probably got a bit, not cross rutted, but you can say it like that, cross rutted and uh, yeah, tossed him off, slammed him onto the ground. I had the car dose on, I could hear him screaming in pain. It's awful. Yeah, and, and he, um, he passed out like three times. His eyes were like more like, like dinner plates. But no response. Wide open. But I'm banging him on the face and yelling at him. And no response. Scary. Did that three times. And uh, got him back down to the bottom of the hill there. Back down here now. Got him back down to the bottom of the hill and got him resting, mate, for the ambulance. Here's I am. Broke. <laughs> I think the painkillers have helped a little bit because uh, at least he's responding. He's breathing. Yeah. He's breathing. That's good. He's not unconscious. Not unconscious. I just did a bit of a talk up the top of the hill. Told them how you left the planet three times. Not very nice. How are you feeling now? I'm warm. Yep. Fingers? I'm just this one's a little bit. Oh, well, they've got a bit of colour back. Yeah, back to normal. Mm. He's got two puffer jackets on and the dry rider and sitting in the sun. So he should be melting by all accounts, but he's cold. But you're not cold now, are you? No, I'm alright now. A little bit chilled. You want something to eat? No. Not yet. What's your name? Ian. Ian. Nice. <laughs> 